The Syncore CR70 CRT analyzer is one of the few picture tube testers that will check these older style electrostatic tubes like this. This is a 7JP4 and using this universal adapter which is right here just has pigtails you clip on the pins of the tube you can actually test these older tubes. There's only five wires two filaments the G1, the G2, and the cathode. Here's my sheet here on the Syncor and I've written this in because I've worked on a couple of these older TVs and these are the settings that you have to set the machine to. Of course the filament connections on the tube itself are pins 1 and 14. That's where these two connections are. There's 14 and there's one. The cathode connection is pin 2 and there's there's pin 2 right there. The G1 is pin 3 which is here. And the G2 is pin 9 which is right here. As to the settings on the CRT tester your first setting here should be on scope then the F1 and F2 settings on this tube, these tubes, F1 is on 1, F2 is on 2. That's a little confusing because if you look on the chart where it says CRT type F1 and 2, it will say to hook them up to, to set these to 1 and 14. But if you do that, you won't have any filament voltage. So this has to be F1 on 1, F2 on 2. Now the filament voltage of course is 6 volts. It's actually a 7 volt filament tube but you set it for 6. And this is the fine adjustment on the filament set. And the bias is minus 68 volts. And that's what we have here. The gun select should be on black and white. Cathode settings won't matter because you're not setting those individually. So let's turn this thing on and see see what we get. All right, that's a good sign. We've got about four and a half volts there. So that means that the filaments on this tube are drawing current. So let's see if we can set this to 6.3. It's a good point to test it. And then we go to heater cathode short test. That says good. We go to G1 short test. That also says good. Our cutoff, we want that in that little black square. Right there. And then finally we check emission. And according to this tester, this tube is good. And if we do a life test, emission life test, see it's pretty much staying, going down just a little, but not much. So that's a good sign. See, it moved back up just a little when I let go. So, this analyzer is confirming that this tube is good. Now, one thing I will say, on these old tubes, these old electrostatic tubes, sometimes even the tester that tests the tube good and the tube will be bad. You know, it may be no contrast or you know, washed out, super dim. Uh, occasionally it'll have a short that the, the tester won't find, but not very often on that. One of the few testers that is pretty accurate on testing these older tubes.
We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.